Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind. And also turn on the notification bell. If you don't want to leave a comment, that's fine. You could always leave a thumbs up, a heart, a rose. Any and everything helps with the page. Of course, if you're coming over new to the page, a lot of times I upload maybe one or two times a day. So you may catch the video, but you have to turn on your notification. To like, comment, and subscribe is free. But the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. So let's get to it. I did a video on this last week and of course some of the people in my comments were like what is she doing why is she putting Kanye at risk what are we talking about um, Kanye West wife Bianca Sensori reportedly thinks Kim Kardashian is tacky for inaccurately claiming that the couple lives without security she is actually putting her kids safety in jeopardy are we surprised Kim can't stop talking about Kanye that's the sad part. But to say he does this, he lives this and this and this, don't you think that would be concerning for his kids? And for people that think that Kanye's not Kanye, his kids wouldn't be around him if he's not really Kanye. But of course, the pictures do look like something's going on. But the biggest thing is Kanye liked to spend a lot of time with North. But you figure the show is showing North in a light that he probably doesn't want his daughter posted as one you think about last year kim put north in in uh tiktok a lot to stay trending to stay relevant to stay being talked about kanye did not like that then you have north on the show trying to grab chloe's drink you have north allegedly trying to write a note to chloe in regards to the fake guy wanting to talk to her kim's trying to give her daughter a storyline and she's 11 you have Kim putting her in an outfit with the clueless thing. She wants her to grow up fast. You have Kim showing North eating an onion. And then I was saying, and I didn't even see the rest of the video where she was like, oh my gosh, your breath smells like onion. So then you want her to be picked on at school in regards to having onion breath. It, it, the biggest thing is why isn't Kim protecting her daughter from the media? She's not painting her in a good light. What is that all about? Y'all, real talk is sad. She's not painting her daughter in a good light. What is that about? Remember how I told y'all these videos are not to embarrass or shame, but it's almost like they're putting themselves in a situation where showing benefits and they're showing let's embarrass ourselves. So she's already trying to embarrass her daughter, having her show and eating an onion. And then she's showing the video of, of North slapping her friend's face and dancing and stuff and then she's saying oh my dress broke and oh i had north picking up all these um beads it's like why would you have your daughter picking up these expensive items when you have assistance you have security why are you putting that on your daughter she does not talk about her daughter in a good light now she's also shading kanye talking about he doesn't have security allegedly i'm sure he does talking about he doesn't have chefs or drivers or whatever. The biggest thing, why do that? Why talk about that? Why keep talking about him? Let him go. Let him move on. Like I told y'all, if I was Bianca, I would check her. Stop talking about my man. I would see a, send a cease and desist. Stop mentioning my man. Because you figure since they've been together, they continue to talk about Kanye every season. They're in their, what, third, fourth season? I don't even know. But if I was Bianca, I would send a cease and desist. Stop talking about him. Send it to Kim. Send it to Hulu. And stop talking about and putting North in media in regards to the show. Let her grow up because you're not painting her in a good light. You're not. These videos, she don't have to say. And then, then Kim also talked about 
the concerns that North has in regards to schooling. So you figure North right now is with her dad. She's not even in school, but you are putting her in a situation that cannot be good for her in school. But well wishes, Kanye and Kim have to figure out their whole situation in regards to how they're going to raise these children. And then you have Saint giving, you know, paparazzi the bird. And, you know, he cut his hair. And then people are talking about Kim having Saint dress up in his Halloween costume. And that was concerning. Many people are like, what's going on with her? Is Kim okay? Kanye has been spending a year trying to be about himself, his wife, trying to stay out of media, but Kim continues to talk about him. And Kanye is posting stuff. Somebody's taking pictures and sending it out. But it's like Kanye don't want to be bothered with the Kardashians at all. Kanye does not want to be bothered with the Kardashians, but they continue to put him in the show. So is he able to do that? Or can they still use his likeness in the show because he was on the show? I think Kim is having a hard time finding a great guy because she continues to talk about Kanye. Kanye's moved on. New life, new wife, married. And it's sad that he can't move on in peace. So we see that Kim throws shade at North. We see Kim throw shade at Kanye. We see Kim throw shade at Courtney. And her and Courtney have figured it out because they say, we need to figure this out. I think they're trying to do what other reality shows are doing. Let's have a beef and then let's work it out. Let's have an argument and then work it out. She don't want Courtney to be happy. She want Courtney's life and storyline to be drama filled. When Courtney's storyline should be my life, my wife, you know, I'm a wife. I'm enjoying this life. But instead, Kim wants to attach herself to Courtney because Courtney should be living in the honeymoon stage. So if Kim was married and if it was a different situation, they'd be posting the dinners with Kim and her man. They'd be posting the wedding and her man. They would, Kim don't like that Courtney's happy, period. The one sister that's got a good man, Savannah, and who's happy, Savannah, she don't like that Courtney is married, has a great husband that wants to protect her. Kim wants to add drama to that. That's the sad part about it. We see it. There is no allege about that. That's concerning that Kim is wasn't happy about the wedding. Remember how Courtney said, oh, you weren't happy about the wedding? As soon as you got there, you were fussing. She was like, oh, the style. And then they talked about the Dolce & Gabbana thing. That was drama. Then they talked about the singer. That was drama. Kim loves drama. Kim loves conflict. Kim loves to get media. And she likes to cause drama and conflict. It's sad, but true. And the mom don't care. The mom loves that they go at it. The mom is not the one daughter that's happy, at peace, and married. You're bringing drama to that. It's, it is what it is. And then she's asking Chloe to stay with Tristan, who's cheated. Allegedly, is he taking care of Theo? Allegedly, is he paying and making sure his first child tuition is paid? Is he seeing his child? Why are the Kardashians helping Tristan, who lied and cheated on Chloe and had a baby on Chloe? Well, well wishes. And then she says, Tristan's a good dude, but then you're throwing shade at Kanye. You're throwing shade at your baby daddy, but then you're trying to make Tristan look like a good dude. Come on. Everybody's been talking about it. People that don't even cover the Kardashians are starting to cover the Kardashians. Like, what is Chris doing? Why is Chris helping the man get a job at ESPN? Why is Chris trying to ask Chloe to stay with Tristan? Because they think he's a storyline. Until they lock down other storylines, they're utilizing Tristan and they're utilizing Scott. Well wishes to Kanye. Be safe, be happy, be proud. He wants to allegedly stay away from the Kardashians to have a peace of mind. The Kardashians love to trend every week. They have to figure out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, what they're going to do, what they're going to talk about. And then Sunday night, they try and post something, what they're going to try and trend for the rest of the week. Kanye's tired of that. He wants a peace of mind. New life, new wife. What wishes? Let me know in the comments how you feel about Kanye, Kim, Kim talking about his security, and Bianca may be sick of it, and she may need to do something. And other people. Kim has shaded Kanye. Kim has shaded Black China. Kim and, you know, Chloe has shaded Lamar Odom. They're even talking about Lamar Odom. And then even Mal Malika wants Chloe to be back with Tristan. Why would they want her to be with a guy that cheated? For a storyline. What well wishes? Unhealthy relationships. We see it. Some of the reality shows... People are getting tired of it. It's the same old, same old, regurgitated old storyline. The mom talking about the dad and how she cheated. That's so old. That's 
what she was with Br- Bruce, who was a, now Caitlyn, respectfully, and now they want to talk about the dad who was passed away. Is she talking about the dad to try and make Chloe feel better? What's that about? The unhealthy relationships. People are tired of it. Many people want to see them in healthy relationships. But what's selling for them is the toxic relationships, the unhealthy relationships, the guys that's cheated, the guys that's been spotted with somebody else. It's like, how do we always know when Tristan's with somebody? How do we always know about those pictures? So is it plot planned? PR stunts? Who knows? But mother's teacher, daughter's different. Period. They may be wealthy, but are they happy in mind, body, soul, spirit? Are they respected in the industry? People may want to get a picture with them and be spotted with them, but are they respected in the industry? Well wishes. I don't blame Bianca for saying enough is enough. Stop. Well wishes. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Kim. Did she put the kids and Kanye at risk? Talking about his security issues, not having a chef, not having whatever, a nanny or whatever. The kids want what they want. Maybe they want a simpler life. And their dad may show them attention that Kim don't. For Nork to say, what does my mom do? She knows what her dad does. But for her to not to know what Kim does, that's interesting. She's 11. She should know what her mom does. Well wishes. Have a great day, everyone. Like, comment, and subscribe.